everybody, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to connect a X-Series interface to our computer using RTP. That basically means, means we're gonna be able to send MIDI over an ethernet cable between our interface and our computer. Maybe you have your computer next to your drum set, uh, and you have the Mio XM or Mio XL uh, off to the side of the stage, back with the playback deck, or maybe it's over near your keyboard player. Well, that's a long distance, so in that case, we can run an ethernet cable, leave our Mio XL XM to the side of the stage, run an ethernet cable over to our computer. Um, another great benefit is to create what I call a connected stage. So we can actually get a network switch. That's the setup I'm using today. And we can connect multiple Mio XMs, multiple Mio XLs, multiple computers all on the same network switch and send MIDI back and forth. So we could have a Mio XM back at front of house with our front of house audio engineer. And we could be sending our audio engineer uh, MIDI commands from our keyboard rig or from our drum rig all over ethernet. It makes it really, really simple to network together multiple devices. I wanna talk about how to make that connection uh, today. And in this particular video, it's gonna be an automatic setup, which means once you plug your interface in, it's gonna automatically connect to your computer, which is incredibly beneficial when you're going from gig to gig, or you have to set up your gear you know, every single week uh, after powering it down. You just plug it right in and it automatically connects. So the process is exactly the same whether it's an XM or an XL. So I'm gonna start by taking my ethernet cable and I'm gonna connect it to the front of the device right here where it says RTP MIDI. So we're gonna plug that guy in. Because of my particular setup, uh, I am not plugging my ethernet cable directly into my computer. It's going into a network switch. So my computer is plugged into the network switch. The Mio XM is plugged into the network switch as well. Okay, so now that we've got our device connected to our computer over ethernet, we need to establish a connection to basically send MIDI back and forth from our interface to our computer. And the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna use a software called Oracle for X-Series. Okay, so now that we have our interface connected via an ethernet cable, we need to establish a connection. I've got this pulled up over on my computer. You can see uh, the Mio XM XM showing up here on the front screen. I could click this little eye here to see that I'm connected via RTP. So now what I wanna do is I wanna first create that path. So I'm gonna to go to the RTP network MIDI routing here. And I wanna start with my first RTP port. Again, if I scroll down here, you see we have up to 12 different ports or 22 for on the XL. So I'm gonna to go to initiator because I want the, uh, the Mio XM to initiate the session automatically. And I wanna go ahead and name this. What I would suggest is name each one of these ports to correspond with what it's gonna be used to send data back and forth. So for instance, if I'm using uh, a Nord keyboard, and I wanna plug a Nord into my Mio XM, then I probably wanna name that RTP port that's gonna carry the signal uh, Nord. So for the sake of this example, I'm gonna pretend I'm gonna plug my Nord in here. So I'm gonna name this Nord, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. So that's gonna save the name of that particular RTP preset. Now what I'm gonna do is I need to do a little bit of configuration on my computer, and I only really need to do this uh, the first time on each machine. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna use what's called Network MIDI, which is built into um, every single Mac. Let's jump back in and let's make that configuration now. So I'm gonna go to what's called Audio MIDI Setup. I think the best way to get there is to use Spotlight on your computer. So I'm gonna type in Audio MIDI Setup and hit Enter. Once I get here, I'm gonna to go to Window, and I wanna do Show MIDI Studio. Then I wanna to go to this globe icon, or another way, uh, potentially the easiest way to get there is go back up to MIDI Studio and go to Open MIDI Network Setup. Now, you can see by default, all of the different ports of my XM are already showing up here, uh, the 12 possible RTP ports, but I need to create what's called a session. The session is what the XM is going to connect to. So I'm creating a session on my computer, and the XM is gonna automatically connect to that. So uh, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna press this plus icon to create a session. I need to do a couple things here to, to configure this and get this ready for me to connect to it. Probably most importantly is under the Who May Connect To Me section, instead of only computers in my directory, I'm gonna choose anyone. This is again gonna allow the XM to connect to that. Next, we have two different name sections here, local name and bonjour name. This is really important to understand. Local name, this name right here, this is how is this session gonna show up to your DAW on your computer locally? So I'm using Ableton Live uh, 11 for this example. Whatever name I type in there is what's gonna show up uh, in that software. The other option here, bonjour name, 
this is where we're going to enter the name that we typed in over here on um, an article for X series. So in a second, I'm going to type Nord the same way I typed it here over in the Bonjour name. And it's really important that those two names are the same so that the interface can automatically connect to that port. Okay, so let's go in and let's make some of these configurations. So one local name, uh, again, this is how it's gonna show up in Ableton Live. So I'm gonna type Nord because I wanna see in Ableton Live when I'm connecting and sending MIDI to and from the Nord that that's what it is. Over in Bonjour name, again, this is really important that what I enter here is the same thing as what I entered in this box, right? So we called it Nord, so I'm gonna call it Nord here, okay? Uh, local name, bonjour name, and then I'm gonna go ahead and enable it. So I can click enable, and that's going to enable and create that session. Now what's really cool, before I could even explain what's about to happen, it happened, which is you see the Mio XM automatically connected uh, to this network session. And what's great is now that I did this setup, that means every single time that uh, I go to power off this device, plug it back in, it's gonna automatically connect. We have created a network session on our computer. We have initiated a session using Oracle for X series, and now those two are connected. But how can we connect something to the device and get it into our DAW? Let's talk about that next. Now let's talk about how we could, for example, uh, take a Nord keyboard, something that's five pin, and I'm just gonna use this DIN1 port here. So if you look on the front of this device, we see DIN1 and I have uh, MIDI in. And so I'm gonna plug my Nord out of my Nord into this, and then uh, I'm gonna go out of this into my Nord, right? So I'm gonna send MIDI to and from using the DIN1 port. So let's talk about the connections we need to make, the MIDI router we need to make, and then what that looks like and shows up in our DAW. So I'm gonna go back over to uh, Oracle for X series. I'm gonna get out of the RTP setup here and I wanna to go to MIDI routing. So first I wanna to go to source. The best way to think about source is the thing that's sending. So what is sending MIDI in this case? It's the Nord. What is the Nord plugged into? Again, it's DIN1 port on my interface. So I'm gonna go source DIN1. I need to make sure that my source is going to send over to RTP1, which in this case it is. Let's say I had plugged into DIN4, and for whatever reason, I wanna send that to RTP1. We can go up to this drop down here and we can hit this plus and that's gonna add uh, RTP1 to this. If we wanted to delete RTP4, we could hit delete there as well too. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that before I forget. So DIN1 is sending to RTP1. So that handles the sending of our MIDI. Let's talk about how to receive MIDI. Again, we wanna send MIDI back from Ableton Live to our Nord, how do we do that? So now I'm gonna say, okay, what's the source for that? That's gonna be coming out of RTP1. Okay, because that's coming from Ableton Live. And I wanna make sure RTP1 goes back to DIN1. And you can see, by the, again, the default routing of this is that connection. Um, and so what I did basically by looking at these two, I didn't need to change anything, it was the default routing, is I'm basically by default set up so that whatever gets plugged into DIN1 is going to then get sent to RTP1 and whatever gets sent uh, to RTP1 from Ableton Live is going to come out of the DIN1 port, which is great. So I've got my configurations um, set and ready to go in Oracle for X series. Now I wanna show you over in Ableton Live what this looks like and how I route MIDI to and from um, the software. Again, whatever DAW you're using, it's a similar process. So over in Ableton Live, first I wanna make sure that, that MIDI connection is, is set up there. So I'm gonna go into preferences, go to the link tempo MIDI tab, and we're gonna see uh, for an input here, network Nord. That is that RTP1 port that we created and we set up. So for instance, if I wanna remote control Ableton from, um, from that port, I can enable remote, or I've got it set up for track. On the output side, I see the same thing here, network Nord. I'm gonna go ahead and enable track for that. Let's say I wanted to receive MIDI from the Nord on this particular track here. I would go MIDI from, I would go down to network Nord, and now I'm gonna receive MIDI from that Nord channel. And again, the signal path here is uh, we start at the Nord, we send five pin MIDI to DIN1 on our Mio XM. And then from DIN1, we go to RTP1, which is connecting to our computer and network session one, which then goes to Ableton Live. So that's kind of our path of how we got there. Now, if I wanna do this in reverse, let's say I wanna send whatever MIDI is happening from this channel uh, to back out to that five pin port to my Nord. I'm gonna do MIDI two and do network Nord there. And again, that's how that port is connected. Again, that's what we suggest to be the best way to make an RTP connection between your X-Series interface and your computer. It's automatic, it saves, 
every time you reconnect, power up your devices, it's gonna automatically make that connection, which is really, really great. We'll talk about in a couple other videos here in a moment, how to do this in different ways and why that might be beneficial in those particular ways to do that. But again, we believe this to be the best way. Now, if you have any questions outside of what this video covers, maybe you want to see specifically how to do this in your DAW or something's uh, uh, you know not working the way you think it should, then make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. Uh, you can find info on how to do that in the description of this video. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.